Today we're going to do a practice in the third foundation of mindfulness, mindfulness of the mind. Just noticing the mind's reaction to experience, specifically whether we're drawn in or pulling away from something that arises. So you can let your eyes close gently and if it's more comfortable for you, you can leave your eyes at a soft gaze on the floor in front of you. Finding what works for you. And finding what works for you as well in the body. Settling into a posture that feels kind for you in this practice. So something that's alert and energized, but also not straining. finding a middle path with the body's posture. And as you sit here, you may notice that the mind is active, thoughts are arising, maybe there's sounds going on around you. And just for now, at the beginning of this sit, staying with the physical body, what can you actually feel in the body? Not pushing away any noises or judging any thoughts and shoving them down. Just returning to the body. Where can you feel experience happening? In this present time moment, what's going on? You may notice some movement in the body, perhaps as the breath comes in and out. Maybe the points of contact where you're touching the ground or chair or cushion, or the arms are resting in the lap. Maybe you can feel the temperature of the air, the clothes on the skin, an itch or some pain or tension. Really anything goes. What can you feel going on in your body in this moment? Tuning into whatever arises with some awareness, seeing how it feels, and then opening back up to see what else comes up. I like to use a noting practice with this, just a one word label of where in the body I'm experiencing something, not what it is, just where. So noting back, chest, elbow, just like this, tuning in to the natural experience you're having. And anytime you find the mind wandering, just coming back to the practice, returning to the body. This is part of mindfulness practice, noticing when the mind's wandered and bringing it gently back to the practice that we're working with. Can always return to the body breathing, the inhale and exhale using the breath as the anchor. Returning to this question, what do I feel in the body right now?
you can open up your awareness a bit more to include the other of the main four sense doors that we traditionally learn. Anything happening, even with eyes closed, in the realm of sight. Any smells or tastes. And any sound. Again, not judging or seeking to understand or figure anything out, but being with our present time experience, playing the role of the observer. You can continue with the noting practice. If you hear a noise, just noting hearing. Remembering that when the mind wanders, it's not something worth getting upset about, worth judging ourselves for, but recognizing that the mind's just doing its job, it's thinking. Simply leaving any thought you're in the middle of where it is and coming back to the practice. You can even use it as part of the noting practice, just noting thinking or lost. And we'll add in this piece of looking at the mind's response or reaction to experience. It often happens that the mind has a response after we experience a sound or a feeling in the body or perhaps a thought. And you can do this pretty simply just by noticing if there's a sense of leaning in to an experience or leaning away from. Using the notes, leaning in or leaning out. So for example, if you hear a loud car go by outside, you might notice hearing and a slight leaning out. Maybe you have a thought of the next meal and notice a slight leaning in. Remembering that there's no right or wrong answer here. This is about observing your individual experience. It may be true that there are things that 
we should be enjoying in our minds, but we're actually leaning away from. Or there's things that we think we should be leaning away from, and we actually find ourselves leaning toward. We don't need to judge right now or figure out why that is. Rather, we can cultivate mindfulness of the mind by simply observing what's going on, this mood of the mind in response to our experience. Maybe you notice you have a pain in the knee and the mind starts thinking about how to change position or if you should just sit with it and the sense of leaning away from the experience. So continuing like this, with this open awareness to whatever going on, whatever arises, and how the mind responds, reacts, or interacts with the experience, leaning in or leaning out. when the mind kind of gets lost in itself. And just notice that as if it's any other experience, thinking. Notice if there's a leaning in or leaning out to that. Using it as part of the practice, not a hindrance or an obstacle. Including it. What's going on in your experience in this moment and what's the mind's natural response to it? For these last few minutes, really trying to stick with it. Not stressing or straining, but returning gently each time the mind wanders. Being with your experience with as much consistency as you're able. <laughs> 